Hi, I'm Adam from CinemaGadgets.com and the topic of this video is reflectors. So basically whatever the budget for your project is, reflectors are a really cool thing to have in your, in your list of equipment. And at our site CinemaGadgets.com we sell two different sizes of reflectors. So this one here is, a, is the bigger one. This is a four foot by four foot reflector. And then we have the smaller guy here. This is a two foot by two foot reflector. And these reflectors, um, you can buy a single reflector if you want, but most people will get a, a kit of them and they come in, in two and four reflectors. The reflectors do not come with stands, so we have to take that into consideration when we use them. This larger reflector here has a junior pin and we'll be using a combo stand for this. This is a cool stand here, it has uh, pretty wide legs you can fit a couple sandbags on it which is important um, you don't want the, these things falling down of course and it's also kinda cool to be able to raise this thing up pretty high so you can catch that sunlight wherever it is for the little guys you're cool with 20 inch c-stand you can also use a c-stand and then of course they come with a case you gotta get a case if you use them pretty much here's a case for the smaller one and you can get this in a two place or a four reflector holder case. And the same goes with this bigger one here. This, this particular one, of course, is a two place holder, but you can get the wider four place if that's what you need. So these reflectors have two sides to them. Um, this side that you can see is the soft side. It has this silver leaf material that breaks the light up and makes it, gives it a little softer look. And then we also have the hard side here, which of course has nothing and it puts off a very hard light. Um, and then a, a third option, if you really want to kick back a lot of light, uh, this one here has a mirror side. And these, these come in real handy for punching through um, silks or, or catching more light because you will need to do that from time to time. Okay, so let's talk about some lighting scenarios that we would use these reflectors for. Um, of course, the whole point of these reflectors is to catch the sunlight and angle it where you want it. So you're going to be dependent on where the sun is in the sky at that moment. There's a couple different situations that you'll use your reflectors in. One situation is if you're using the sun as a key light on the person that you're shooting, you might want to throw a little light on their back so that you can establish some depth and make them stick out from the background. So we've put, positioned a reflector already and I'll just walk into the, uh, the beam of it. And as you can see, it's hitting me right now on the back side. Now, the way we've set this thing up is a little exaggerated. It, it's probably a little too bright. And it's really important when you use reflectors to play around with getting them uh, the right uh, brightness or darkness that you want and one way of doing that is to is to change how far away the reflector is from the person a another solution uh, if you can't move the, re the reflector any further back is to use some kind of a scrim or something like that so right now I have a single scrim over here right now I can just place this scrim in front of the reflector and that will lower the amount of light that's coming off of it so another important thing to remember when you're using reflectors is that you're really working with the sun and the sun is always going to be moving so before you start rolling on any shot you need to have someone come over and, and check the reflector to make sure that it's still hitting the subject the way that you want it to hit. Another scenario that we can use our reflectors for is if the sun is behind the person that we're shooting uh, we would be normally getting not a lot of detail on their face because we don't have a light source lighting them up. So we can take a reflector and this time we've, we've gone with the bigger four foot by four foot reflector. We can catch that sunlight and bounce it back at our subject. Now when we do this it's going to be very bright and it's going to be in kind of a smaller spot. So we've thrown up a six by six china silk right here which will diffuse that light and, and, and soften it a little bit and, and bring the intensity down so hopefully it gives us what we want. I'll take a walk over here and stand on the mark that we set up. 
And this is basically what you get. You, you can fine tune this and, and get really what you want. So here I am standing outside of the light source and I'll just take a walk over to my mark right here and you're getting an exposure on my face without using any HMI lights or anything like that. The larger reflector ha is adjustable so you can loosen this and aim it where you want it and then tighten it in place. A third scenario that we can use the reflectors for is right now we're filming me and I'm being lit up by the sun but because of the angle that we are the background behind me is in a lot of shadow and it's a little too dark. So we can run over here to this reflector and this reflector is table topped right now but we'll just point it over here to those bushes behind me and we have to play around with it but that's one way of making your project look like it has a budget. So we've showed you a couple uses for reflectors and as you can see they come in really handy for making your work look a lot better. You would really have to buy some reflectors and practice using them so that you can become a, a pro at getting all the nuance in your shots that, that you can get with these things. So check out our website, cinemagadgets.com, for reflectors. And we have a bunch of other stuff that I'm sure you would like. And stay tuned for more videos.